So, you know that Warcraft movie from a while back? Yeah, it didn't exactly hit it big. They had this plan for a bunch of movies, but that got tossed out of the window a few years ago. But guess what? Rumor has it that there might be a new Warcraft movie in the works. Word on the street is it could be a sequel with Thrall in the spotlight, but it's not going to be all tied up with the first one. Some of the OG characters might make a cameo, but it's going to focus on a whole new storyline. So what's the scoop on this leak though? Is it for real? And what's this second Warcraft movie going to be about? Arthur's The Second War or something totally different? Let's delve into it. Now let's be real about the Warcraft movie. It didn't exactly soar to success. I wouldn't call it a total disaster, but it likely barely broke even and certainly didn't make any big bucks. If it were a gold mine, we'd probably be knee deep in Warcraft 2 by now. There were talks about a sequel for a while, but after analysing the numbers and considering world events, that dream got tossed aside. They even auctioned off the movie Gear, which felt like the final nail in the coffin for any Warcraft movie dreams. <laughs> Fast forward a few months and we've got this leak that claims to spill the beans of negotiations between Blizzard and the movie studio for a Warcraft movie continuation. Now, one of the reasons the first movie stumbled was because it was meant to kick off a series. The whole thing was set up to be a trilogy, but when sequel plans fell through, it left the first movie hanging. Not the best move if you ask me. The thing is, the storyline they picked might not have been the wisest choice. If you look at it from a perspective of someone who's never heard of Warcraft, it's a mishmash of orcs, humans, magic, demons, griffins, you name it. To a newbie, it's as generic as fantasy can get. Characters like Orgrim Doomhammer, Thrall, and the Orcish Horde mean zilch to someone unfamiliar with the Warcraft universe. Now here's the interesting part of the leak. Despite the lukewarm reception at the domestic box office, the international market kinda saved the day, so the studio is apparently considering a soft reboot of the movie series. Keyword, soft. They might be looking to give it another shot, tweaking things to make it more appealing to a wider audience. Will it work? Time will tell. Anyway, here's the scoop on the potential new Warcraft movie. They're thinking of shaking things up. It won't be your typical sequel. Instead, it's gonna dive into a fresh set of characters. While it won't totally brush off the first movie, it's not going to follow the same traditional sequel route either. Get this, one big clue is that they're bringing back some original characters, including Goal, aka Thrall. And get this, he's not the baby-sized orc from the first flick, he's going to be a full-blown adult in this one. They're dropping hints that this new film will throw back to some scenes from the first movie, but not all the characters will make a comeback. Now, if this intel is legit, it's pretty darn significant. It's steering us away from the sequel tied to the Orcish Horde invasion and the first war. Forget about the second war too, Thrall was busy being an adult gladiator long after those internment camps were set up. Personally, I'm all for this direction. Trying to redo the second war might have been a disaster, especially given the mixed bag the first movie got. People were curious back then, but if they heard it was going to be the same old ox versus human routine, I bet way fewer folks would be itching to check it out. Now, the genius move here is this apparent reboot with a different storyline, keeping the Warcraft vibe, but learning from the first movie's hiccups. So, what could this new movie be about, considering the clues? Well, with Thrall all grown up, it could cover anything from his gladiator days to the Cataclysm era where he stepped down as War Chief. That seems like a solid move, considering the last time folks saw him in the movie, he was just a baby with a blink and you miss it cameo. I find adapting the World of Warcraft storyline into a film quite challenging. The game's lore builds upon itself with each expansion, making it complex for those unfamiliar with the MMORPG. Considering the significant financial investment involved, sticking to a proven formula seems wise. Warcraft 3 serves as the franchise's foundation and could be the best choice. Two plausible scenarios come to mind for the movie, one involving internment camps and Thrall as a gladiator, and the other centered around Warcraft 3 events. While the first idea has potential, it might lack reliability for the average viewer due to its dependence on prior knowledge of the Orcish Wars. 
Personally, I lean towards the second option, intertwining the Warcraft 3 narrative with simultaneous storylines. This approach could depict the Scourge, threatening the human kingdom and the Orcish Horde's escape, encountering various races along the way. The juxtaposition of Arthas's tragic tale and the Horde's struggle could create a compelling movie, deviating from the first film's focus on the Orcish Horde. Despite concerns about the overused zombie theme, it could infuse a Game of Thrones-like atmosphere with the Lich King and Kel'Thuzad spreading their malevolence from Northrend. As I mentioned earlier, the idea is to create a movie that portrays the global perspective of both the Horde and the Alliance. It would focus on the Horde's quest for a new life and the Alliance's internal struggles. The storyline would center around the undead, aiming for a more grounded narrative without the excessive fantasy elements seen in the first movie. I believe a relatable angle would involve depicting a human kingdom crumbling from within, with a particular emphasis on the character Arthas. This approach I feel would resonate better with those unfamiliar with Warcraft, as Arthas is often more recognizable than figures like Orgrim, Doomhammer or Blackhand from the Orcish invasion. Additionally, there has been speculation about incorporating elements such as the War of the Ancients, Deathwing and the Legion into the storyline. If the leak is accurate, it seems like the storyline might not involve Thrall but rather focus on the Orcish Horde. Personally, I don't think this would be a great idea, introducing a massive old god-corrupted dragon and gigantic demons aiming to reshape the universe might be too overwhelming for those unfamiliar with Warcraft lore. To put it simply, the plot might seem too outlandish and crazy for them. Comparatively, in Lord of the Rings, although there was a complex backstory, the main storyline was more relatable to the average person. However, it's worth noting that the sources for this information are not very strong, it's not a reliable forum post, and it's also not from a reputable person working at either Blizzard or at the movie studio. It's possible that the information is accurate, considering Blizzard's influence, but I also agree with what many in the community are saying. Warcraft lore might not translate well into a movie format. A series, consisting of around 6 to 8 episodes lasting 45 minutes each, could be a better approach. The vast amount of lore in World of Warcraft makes it challenging to condense it into a two-hour movie without overwhelming viewers with information. A series would allow for a more gradual and nuanced introduction to the storyline, helping viewers appreciate it better. In my opinion, a series titled something like Warcraft The Scourge of Lord Ron, focusing on Arthas from his early days to his transformation to the Lich King would be intriguing. Executed well, such a series could outperform the original Warcraft film. Well, that's it for today. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views in the comment section with us and subscribe to the channel to get updated. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video and see you at the next one. Oh, God.